You want to run Flux 1 on your PC, but you don't have the latest hardware? No problem. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can run Flux in Forge, so you can get images like this, even if you have a potato PC. Forge is basically a copy of Automatic 11.11. In software development, this is called a fork. We don't install it directly, instead we are using stability matrix. You can compare it to Steam, where you have all your games in one place. Currently I have ComfyUI, Focus and Forge installed and I could easily add another UI with just two clicks. From now on you can handle all your checkpoints and LoRa's in one place, it even model updates are shown. In the shared output folder you can see all the images you ever created. Stability Matrix comes with a full working Civitai browser. You can also make downloads from here, some models and LoRa's require an API key though, but you can always click the three dots down here and click on open on Civitai. You could also download workflows and Stability Matrix has its own UI for generating images. But we are going to stick to Forge for now. To download and install Stability Matrix just go to this URL and scroll down and down here download the version you need. After a double click it will detect your graphics card and yes of course we read the license agreement before we tick the box and click continue. My C drive isn't big enough to hold all the checkpoints so I'm going to install it to D Matrix. We will skip the first time setup so that I can show you how to install additional UIs in the future. In this screen click add package and here select forge. And as advanced options you can say if you want to share models across the UIs or not. If you have an Nvidia graphics card select CUDA otherwise select ROSIAM. After that hit install. You can hide it if you want because it will take a while. If you get an error while installing check for updates of stability made. Tricks. Click down here, scroll down and click updates and here click check for updates. If there's a green arrow on the left that means the update is already downloaded and can be installed. If the UI have an update it's shown up here. Just click the update button and the rest should happen automatically. What we actually need to make it run on your PC is this NF4 model of Flux. It's a specialized model that can run with low VRAM and still making good images. Just make sure you download version 2 and you put it in your stability matrix folder under models and here under stable diffusion. Click launch. What I really like about Forge is that the console window is embedded in here. On the top select flux and from here select the model. You can leave diffusion in low bits at automatic or you can set it to NV4 and F4. But don't use it with the base model. I have this image prompt for you. Image of a woman in a fantasy setting holding a flaming sign saying NF4 rocks. Forge comes with predefined styles, so click here and type photo. These are just stored prompts. You can reveal them by clicking on the clipboard icon here. So now you can see our prompt is just wrapped inside of this positive prompt here. Click generate to see if everything works. Looks great, apart from that it looks like she has five fingers and a thumb here. Click here to switch the resolution around and make it 25 steps. For good selection, set the batch count to 4. These are great. I really like the images where the fire is reflecting from her skin. You can see here I rendered against all the samplers and schedulers. It's like I told you in my last video, it doesn't make much of a difference, even though some people on the internet will try to convince you otherwise. If you need more information about how the basic settings work here, then I suggest you watch my automatic 11.11 tutorial where I explain it in great detail. Quick tip about prompting. If you see an amazing piece of art that you want to get inspired on, but you have no idea how to prompt it, then then just make a screenshot. Then head over to ChatGPT. Then click into the message box and press Ctrl V. And we type, what do you see here? Describe it as an image prompt. ChatGPT did an amazing job describing the image in great detail, so we just copy it over to Forge. Make sure to keep the render prompts intact. I'm really excited for this render.
The composition is just great. Of course it looks different, but I made the original in DALI and then I upscaled it with SDXL. Let's upscale the image. So select the image you want and then click the button down here to send it over. If you struggle with prompting or your general workflow, fear not. Head over to Patreon and grab my free guides. I have a prompt guide and an ultimate workflow guide. Currently I'm writing on a control net guide. The first chapters are already available to my Patreons, but I will release a free version of this as well. Don't miss out on these amazing AI image resources. So head over to Patreon and bookmark my page. Some of you may not like it, but I'm going to use SDXL for upscale. I'm choosing Juggernaut XL here. Up here, select XL and for VAE, select your SDXL VAE. Down here, we are using DPM++ to MSDE with schedule type Keras and 25 sampling steps. We are going to resize the image by 1.75 if your graphics card can handle it, go lower to 1.5 for example. We are going to use a denoising of 0.4. Let's create two images. You can press Ctrl Enter to start the render by the way. These look already great, but I want to use a higher denoising in order to get more details in. We go down again and set it to 0.5. As you can see 0.5 was way too much, it removed the dragon and all the other characters, so let's go lower. There's always this fine line, let's try 0.45 instead. The dragon now looks more like a giant bird, but in this image it looks like a phoenix and with all the fire I love the composition very much. A quick side note here, the first control net models for Flux are already out. Subscribe to my channel that you don't miss out on the new content. Let's give our image the final polish. Send it to the extras tab by clicking down here. Instead of the extras tab, we landed on the spaces tab. So not sure if this is a bug in Forge, um, but choose extra tab manually then. Here's our image, everything's good. We select the 4X ultra sharp from the list and we say scale by two. This last step here is much faster because there is no AI model involved. This is just an algorithm that goes over the image. And this is our final result. I think it's almost perfect. The hand is a little bit dissolving here that I didn't check earlier when we did the upscale, but apart from that, we did a perfect job. If your output is great as well, then pat yourself on the shoulder. You did a great job. And if not, you might want to watch this video next in order to improve your AI image skills.